Love to Pokemon. Absolutely love to Pokemon. So I know I said I was going to make sure I stream or record all the important stuff being done, but uh, we lied. We definitely uh, took care of all the Titans, and now this little guy can do all the things he needs to. Like, go around in a circle. Completely fucking crazy. Okay. I have gotten to where I think all of the gym people are. I'm pretty worried about this psychic gym, so maybe let's let's attack this thing first. And then I think there's an ice gym I'm supposed to go to. By the way, this little town here. This might be the coolest town. Look at the little sprites. Look at the fucking sprites from like Pokemon Blue and shit. Blue and red. Oh my god, the nostalgia. The nostalgia is burning a hole in my balls. In my immediate balls. But woo. Looks pretty cool. So I'm going to try and finish up the gym leaders. Where is this lady? I know I probably got to do a test now. Wee! This is so fucking silly. <laughs> oh. So my Mirrodon can do pretty much anything but battle. Al Fornata Gym. I've always had this idea, okay? Madden, all sports games in general, stop releasing a new game every year and simply make us pay $60 or $50 for updated rosters the following year. I don't know. I'm not trying to support capitalism. I'm just saying they need a reason to do it. Um, go to the practice area. There we go. Um, it, my, my idea comes from, like, Pokemon should do the same goddamn thing. Stop releasing new games. Just release insane levels of DLC. And just put in new continents. Like, imagine if you had come from, like, the place you're at in Sword and Shield. That would be fucking awesome. And imagine if you came from the place you were at in Sun and Moon and went to where you are in Sword and Shield. I know the problem is, is like, well, what do I do with all my, like, level 100 Pokemon? I don't know. Maybe make it so that you can't use any of those. And when you land here, you have to find the fucking, I don't know, some professor or something. All right, where the fuck is the practice area? Ooh, that's good. Okay, practice area. Where is the practice area? You'd think it would be up fucking there. Where do you want me to go? Where do you want me to go? I'm sorry I'm not reading any text. Yes, please. Okay, there we go. Oh, good, an emotional test. Yeah, no, that's exactly what I was looking for in this game, in a Pokemon game. And go left and look for woman in... Uh... She said go left, am I right? She said go left. Oh, are you the... Are you gonna... Are, what is going on? Talk to the trainer. <laughs> okay, I can only talk to that fucking pig Pokemon. Okay, stop it. Stop it. I'm sorry. Was she... Did, did she not say go out here and go left? And there's a fucking woman in a goddamn tracksuit or some shit? Okay. Of course. Oh, hello. Hello. Ooh. Ooh. Gonna Google Rule 34 for you later. Oh, oh, God, yes. Oh, oh, just kidding, just kidding. Just kidding. Just kidding. 
Also, by the way, someone, an NPC in the game told me to make sure that I continually go back to the university to take classes. And we have yet to do that once. So I hope the end of the game does not get mad at me. Okay, I'm a little fuzzy on the rules. Take on emotional spectrum practice. God, this is fucking stupid. Okay, go. What am I supposed... What? Oh my god. Pokemon team can... Can we just fucking not... Oh my god. Is this literally fucking Simon Says? Oh my god. I understand that this game is for children. But come on, man. Really? I should. I wish my daughter wasn't napping now. Oh my god. This. This is real. This is real. This is something they put in a game. Listen. Do you think four-year-olds are getting a Nintendo Switch and playing Pokemon? They're not. I would think maybe eight, nine, even ten. I don't know. Maybe, maybe I'm wrong on that, but like, come on. Fucking Pokemon Blue and Red were not this babyish. Pokemon Blue and Red did not have the goddamn experience share, okay? Yeah, we're we're gonna fuck this gym up. <laughs> we are gonna fuck this gym up. Uh, switch Pokemon. Yeah. Oh, by the way, folks. Oh yeah, look, our little boy evolved. Remember that Shalgon? Remember him? He was in a little itty bitty egg. He is now a big boy Salamance. Look at this little adorable girl battling, and I'm just like, here's my fucking dragon. <laughs> you bitch. Wait, what? How is Crunch only effective? Oh, because it's a fucking half fairy type? Okay, so my question to Pokemon is, why do they only do that half the time? Like... It seems like if you're if you're one thing that it should be super effective against and then you're another thing that's something completely different it takes away the ability to be super effective it's just normally effective I swear to god there are types of pokemon where things should be super effective and they are So what are the fucking rules on that You know what's super upsetting about Greninja is that it's that's its fucking tongue. That's its tongue wrapped around its body. I don't I don't understand. Oops, I actually fucked up. Okay, sorry. My thumb was on the controller, Will. We will we will excel at this children's game. I don't understand these gym challenges. I, I, Game Freak, wh like, what are you doing? Just let us fight trainers in the gym. This is stupid. Also, what is the difference between A and Y? Is that the gym leader, by the way, or is that... Is this woman going to battle us when we're done and I'm going to fight her fighting psychic type? 
All right, so that's a fighting psychic type. I guarantee you if you use like a, like a, what's super effective against fighting? Bird? I wonder if it would be super effective. Oh, hello, yes, my penis doesn't work, but I can still have a little Pokemon battle with my Hitler mustache. Oh, that Pokemon is actually a, an asshole. We need to take this thing out fast. Yeah, no, that thing that thing is not to be fucked with. Usually it has a lot of health and high defense. Switch Pokemon. Um, yeah, let's use you, Tinkaton. So I think this is the team I'm going to have going forward. I could find a replacement for Farig Giraffe. But for the most part, I'm pretty happy with this team. If I run into some Pokemon and I just, it's like, can't miss. We'll think about it, but... Oh shit, acupuncture? Oh no. I'm gonna take your ass out. Don't miss. Don't miss. God damn it. Okay, not sure. You can't use Gigaton. Even if it misses? Wow, what a fucking piece of shit. We're gonna miss, aren't we? Oh boy. Yeah, you're done. Sorry. Wait, why was that super effective? Is Fairy super effective against fighting? I gotta tell you, man. Ugh, I really just am getting older and dumber. Uh, I just don't know what the fuck works. Who the fuck is NDD? I'm gonna take a wild fucking guess. I got no idea who NDDD is, but we're gonna send out Clodzire and hope for the best. I never thought I would stick with this guy, but he's, he's a problem. Oh, it's this fucking thing. This thing is upsetting. Look at it. Just look at it. Okay, so I'm half poison, half ground. So why, why do, why is that super effective? I understand psychic is good against poison, but I'm also part ground. Which is normal for psychic people. It should just be effective. But it's super effective. Do you see what I mean? There, It's like weird inconsistencies in like what is super effective and what isn't. Alright, can this be over? I'm guessing this is the last one. There's no way we don't fight. I don't fight this adorable woman that I'm going to rule 34 later. Come on. Dendra? You'll be cheering in the battle for me against your boss. Um, seems rude. I have to say, too, this is like the first city in the game that actually feels different. Oh, man. Whenever you rotate the camera in this game, it's just so gross. Oh, I love this time of day. I love this time of day. Look at it out there. Beautiful. Beautiful. In terms of what's left, so I've done all the Titans. I got two gyms left. Um, the reason I did the gyms right away, too, is it's just your Pokemon level up too fucking quickly in this game. And the fucking gym badges don't do shit. Every gym badge adds fucking five levels of, yeah, your Pokemon will listen to you. For those of you not aware, this shit's gonna fucking not listen to me eventually if they get too strong. The fuck are you? Oh, this Pokemon is super upsetting. Let's get it.
I don't want to kill it. And it died. Okay, never mind. All right, we're doing psychic types. So, let's see. Can you defend yourself? Because he's a ghost type, so psychic moves are going to fuck him up. But he has snarl. Stop crouching, you fucking asshole. Stop bringing up the map. I swear to God, one thing, too, that sucks in this game is the goddamn menu navigation. Son of a bitch, did that just upset me. <laughs> I always fucking forget what fucking X and Y do. It's You have a 50-50 shot to be wrong every time. So yeah, I'm going to attack a psychic gym with ghost Pokemon. Because I'm trying to make it hard. Shut up. It's also part fire. I'm guessing my Skelder Ridge will be fucked up. So maybe we won't do that. Oh my god. Oh my god. Everyone take a shot when I do something I shouldn't. Yeah, there we go. There's a better idea. Hello, hello. Are you here alone, young lady? Oh boy, is this like the last gym I should be at? Yes, I'm ready to challenge this very probably forgettable gym leader. How's everyone doing today? This is being recorded slash streamed on a on a Friday. On a Friday, are we all enjoying that uh that Friday work from home rule? Oh boy, hello. Jesus Christ, hello. Is she supposed to be a model? Oh, yeah, she is. Hello. We're going to rule 34 you, too. Hello, Tulip. Ooh, the bangs, though. Ooh, she kind of looks like Taylor Swift if her hair was blonde. <laughs> oh, she said I'm cute. Oh, she said I'm cute. She's a groomer. She's a groomer. Yes! Which is always okay if it's a woman doing it to a younger boy. I'm kidding. We're kidding. Joke. Supposed to be a joke. Oh, fuck. Are you kidding me? <laughs> oh, boy. Well. She's hot. The older I get, I guess, the more I'm into fucking cartoon characters. Okay. Um, We're going to use foul play. Hope you don't know the same move. This thing's going to know the same move. Oh. Crunch is just not as good as foul play, so good job. She is cute. Gotta love that model behavior. Um. Yeah, what the hell. Oh shit, I forgot we knew Earthquake. I just taught Earthquake to my goddamn Clodsire. Oh, I love how she throws it out there like a fucking... Alright, let's use... Oh god, this is going to be super effective. Stupid, but Earthquake should fucking doom this thing. Yeah, she's done. Also, I'm pretty sure Poison is super effective against... Psychic, so I, I was stupid to use Earthquake. By the way, the animation for Earthquake has gotten worse. What the fuck? Espathra? Oh, let's try our big dragon boy. I could throw our big dragon boy out there. Oh, look at my big dragon boy. All right, what what fucking Pokemon is this again? Oh, yeah, it's you. I'm not going to lie, man. I used to think that I knew every Pokemon. I, I got to tell you, once you get past, like, Generation 3, I can't name half of them now. I don't even know what the Snow Cone one is named. 
Uh, let's keep this guy out. Oh yes, every model is obsessed with makeup, yes. Totally not stereotypical at all. Um, yeah. I'm not trying to, uh, pad myself on the back, but we had a, um, we chose our life partner and who to have a baby with. And she, she modeled, uh, in the past. And no part of her is obsessed with makeup. She doesn't even know how to put it on half the time, to be honest. Uh, just very basic. So this stereotype is not appreciated. By the way, isn't it stupid that every gym leader terrestrializes their last Pokemon, but it doesn't even change the type? Just to add a little difficult, so this is a psychic Pokemon. Most people are going to use a dark type. So, like, why not have it terrestrialize into a fighting type? Because then that would be strong against... Wow, good job, Salamance. Oh, yes, my boy has evolved. My boy does not take any shit. All right, well, now you have to go on a date with me, and uh, my dates end with a little bit of fellatio, so... Just saying, just saying... God, Game Freak, can you pay for some fucking voice acting? To be fair, you know, we're all shitting on Game Freak for, like, how this game kind of turned out. It's sold 10 million copies, and it, 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 they've probably made a good... It's it, Pokemon is, by the way, the most worth franchise ever. It's worth, like, $108 billion or something crazy like that. Look it up. Look it up. It is the most... Uh, expensive franchise. It's like at the highest net worth of everything. More than Marvel, more than Disney, more than DC, more than Star Wars, Lord of the Rings, Harry Potter, whatever IP you think is worth, it is worth more. It is not. Pokemon is the king of it all. So the fact that they have $108 billion, I kind of see why some people are like... Guys, we could make this game better. We really could. This little girl is one of the Elite Four. Why? Why? Someone's going to have to explain to me how a little girl makes it into the Elite Four. Game Freak, can we just be an adult, too? Why are we a kid in every game? Let us choose. Maybe some people want to be kids. Maybe some want to be adults. Why is this four-year-old in the Elite Four? What bullshit. That just made me take the Elite Four here all the less serious. What the actual fuck? Also, why can I not look at my badges? I've always thought it was cool to look at badges in Pokemon, and we fucking can't. All right, let's save that. Well done, team. Good job, guys. Love you all to death. And uh, let's go do the last gym. See how on the right there it says new classes are available to take? Oops, haven't taken one class yet. Is there a reason to? I should probably Google it. All right, one more gym to go, and then we've done the gyms. And all the Titans. We've only done one star base. Team star, or whatever the fuck. Doop, doop, do, and yada, yada, yada. Let's put, let's put our Clodzire up there first. All right. The next gym is, oh my god. World's worst fucking map. And here we go, the ice type gym. Do do do. Also, I should have I should have just done the Titans earlier, because the whole map is just way easier to navigate once you unlock all those fucking HMs. 
I don't know why I didn't do that sooner. Here's this gym and boo. What dumb test are you going to have for us? Stick your balls on this ice cube. And then we get to fucking ram you in the ass with a big ice cube. Oh, no. Oh, no. Can you ever just leave me alone? Oh, my God, of course. This is why my Pokemon are leveling up too goddamn quick. Keep fighting fucking trainers. Where where are you? Oh my god, you can't just fucking Wait, where'd she go? Do I have to fight her? No? Okay. I thought she was asking me to fight her. Did I read the text not correctly? Yes, my name is Kratos. You may know me as the Ghost of Sparta. Head out of the gym and go up the slope to your left. Okay. Jesus Christ, those two people over there were buff as hell. Slope to our left, I'm guessing, is this one right here. And right here. Mm -hmm. Oh, wow, you're literally the same guy as down there, just with different palettes of hair and skin color. Oh, game freak. Can we put effort into the next one? I think, who owns Pokemon? I think it's Game Freak. I think Game Freak has the, we own this thing. But Nintendo is their publisher. I don't know, man. It, wouldn't it be great if Game Freak just gave Pokemon to, like, an actual studio? You know, like, I, I, I've read countless articles lately, too, that Game Freak wants to make... Game Freak wants to make like a new like a new IP. Like they, they still like Pokemon. They just want to do something else too. Um, is this real? Am I getting credit for these? Oh my god, this is this is ass. Game Freak. Did I really have a minute 30 to beat this too? Are you fucking kidding me? Oh my god. Why fucking bother? Why bother? Why in the fuck bother with that shit? Oh my god. <laughs> Woo! Okay, man. You know, I, I'm not gonna lie, I had this random thought the other day on like how bad the Assassin's Creed games are. And I was like, how the fuck do people play the same shitty Assassin's Creed game every year? And then I thought, I play every single Pokemon game that comes out. And literally anything I want to make fun of the Assassin's Creed crowd for, they could do here. You people were in the last gym, too. You same two people. It's two women, too, by the way. Ooh, hello. Can we make a sandwich? Can we? I'll, I'll be the fucking cream filling in this Oreo here. Listen. Look at me. Yes, I'm a twink. Yeah, that's going to get you laid. Twirling around like that in your knee-high socks. The Sub-Zero Shredder himself. Oh, it's a him? Man, I must be really just bad at identifying genders in this game. I look like a girl from her picture. From his picture. But it's a guy. Okay.
What the fuck? <laughs> Look at how our character looks with his teeth. <sighs> uh. That Pokemon is super unsettling looking. Oh, it's just a dude with long hair that looks feminine. I guess that's fine. Oh, look at the cute Pokemon scarf he has with a Pokeball on it. God damn it, that's fucking adorable. Why would it even ask if I want to battle him? Like, you fucking think I climbed up a mountain and took your dumbass test just to fucking just be like, all right, I'm done. I'm going to go home now and jerk off. Hear me out, too. What about a Pokemon game where the gym leaders are not themed with a type? What if just every gym leader is their own trainer with their own diverse grouping of Pokemon? You know? Maybe all their Pokemon are themed in a different way. I don't know, just an idea. Like, fucking just be different. I know they've switched up the formula here and there, and I appreciate that, but, like, there's just so many other things they could do. Beatric? No idea what the fuck Pokemon that is, but I'm gonna keep... We're gonna keep going here. Oh, Bear Tick. Lyle, Lyle, Crocodile! Boom, you're done. Yeah, see? Like, because that's, well, that's why the gym battles are so easy for the most part, because you just fucking, you get one type. It's an ice gym, so clearly my fire type is going to fucking destroy shit. Here, just to make it interesting, let's switch. Uh, do, do, do. Uh, let's use Tinkatung. No idea if ice is good against steel or not, or fairy. Who knows, it fucking might be. Oh, that's what that fucking thing evolves into. Holy fuck, I'm taking your ass out. Oh, okay, so steel or fairy is super effective <laughs> against that thing. <sighs> Alright, well, I promise I didn't fucking know that. Ooh, Altaria. Isn't that a fucking dragon flying type? What the fuck? Why? Why is an ice trainer using a dragon type? Am I wrong? Am I thinking of the wrong Pokemon? Isn't that the blue thing with clouds for wings? Am I thinking wrong? Nope, that's it. What the fuck? Get the fuck out of here. This is an ice type trainer using a dragon type? What the fuck? Does that thing learn ice moves? I guess the game is technically giving me what I asked for. By the way, I love the terrestrializing thing, but I think the way they're showcasing it is dumb as hell. Your Pokemon is shiny now, but here's just a big dumb fucking hat. Oh, this thing terrestrialized into an ice type. Oh, fuck. Okay. Why didn't every gym leader do this then? This is going to not be effective. Oh, well... If it uses an ice move, it may very well kill my fucking dragon type. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. He's bringing the heat. All right. Fooled me. Fooled me, but didn't kill me, which means you're pretty much fucking dead, buddy. Yeah, Salamance is not to be fucked with. Yeah, see you later. And again, they're reusing the same song from Pokemon Sword and Shield when the trainer terrestrializes. The only difference is there's fucking 17 people here watching us instead of a soccer stadium filled with 100,000 people. 
Stupid. Yeah. Seriously, though, what if Game Freak was like, hey, Insomniac Studios, here's a Pokemon game. Do whatever you want. Check it over with us. Oh, boy. Oh, God. That's super unsettling. Yet yeah, he's winking at us like, hey, just so you know, I might swing both ways. You know, there's a lot under this scarf. All right, finally. I now no longer have to worry about the level of my Pokemon. Everyone listens to me now. Which means I'm ready to fight the Elite Four, but we won't do that yet. We'll take out the Team Star bases now, which I'm sure will be way too easy because we super duper leveled up before doing that. Oh boy, here we go, the champion. Oh, hello ladies. Are you her daughter? Is that going to be the twist? Yeah, th she's definitely her daughter. By the way, there's enough porn out right now that would make this a threesome. Which, isn't that fucking weird, man? Can you guys stop it? At this point, it would be more original to make porn where they're not fucking step-siblings or stepdaughters than it would be to make them. Anyways, super dark turn. We'll switch that now. Gita. What the fuck? Wait, what? Do I have to get to a certain level? All right. We're ready. It says challenge the Pokemon League. Where? Oh, no, that's the lab. Oh, here. Here we go. The Pokemon League. Challenge the Pokemon League. All right, folks. We're ready. We have all the gym badges. How about that? We've defeated all the Titans, and we have all the gym badges. Uh, on the next few episodes, we'll take out uh, the Team Star bases. Which is interesting. You know? Like, overall, the format that they used for this game, I like. It just needs to be tweaked. Like, instead of making certain gym leaders Pokemon at certain levels, just make whoever I challenge have Pokemon around my level. Um, I also think the Pokemon Stadium format would be super useful. Like, only let us each choose three Pokemon from our teams. That way it's even, because, like, most gym leaders have, like, three or four Pokemon, and I have six. Like, how's that shit fair? Anyways, on the next episode of, well, I could just do it better, uh, we will uh, take out some Team Star bases. Uh, for those of you watching on Twitch... Which, if you're watching this on YouTube, subscribe to me on Twitch so you can yell at me in real time. Uh, we'll be right back in about 5-10 minutes with Splatoon 3. Because it's Friday and I want to fucking be splatting fools. Okay, love you. Bye-bye.